Welcome to the Children's Message at Our Savior's Lutheran Church in Salt Lake City, Utah. Join us for a gathering song. I'll sing a line, then you echo it after me, and we'll gather together. You'll recognize the tune, but you might not know all the words, so follow along. We gather today, we gather today, to sing to our God, to sing to our God, to share time together. Jesus Christ and so we gather today this first week of Lent this first week of Lent to sing about Jesus sing about Jesus the great gift that God sent the great gift that God sent Christ hi everybody I'm glad you're here I'm Judy and my accompanist, my awesome accompanist, Dave's here again. We're going to start talking about Lent today. We had Ash Wednesday last week, and now we're starting Lent. This is the first Sunday in Lent. And we're going to walk, we're going to take a journey through Lent. We're going to walk together. We're going to start, remember last week we talked about Jesus teaching the people about God's word, and we're going to go up to Palm Sunday. Remember waving the palms in Jerusalem like they did, welcoming him, him into the city, wanting to see him? And then it will go into Jesus hanging on the cross, and his death, and then it leads into Easter Sunday, where he raises from the dead. So let's walk together, let's go on a journey. We're gonna walk together and guess what our first song, it's a new one, and it's called, Walk Together Children. How perfect is that? Let me teach you some of the words. It's really the same words over and over again. It starts with, oh, walk together children. Oh, don't you get weary, weary. What does weary mean? We better define that. Have you ever used that word before? I have not ever used that word until I sang this song. You wanna guess what it means? What does weary mean? Don't get weary. It means tired. It means more tired than tired, exhausted. So it's telling us stay together, keep working at it, and you'll be fine. Don't get too tired, pace yourself. Those are the words. That's the word. We'll sing it three times. We'll sing, don't get weary. And then the next verse, they'll go, don't you get tired. And then we'll do weary again. The last line I want you to say with me, it's, we're walking together on our journey through Lent. Say that with me. We're walking together on our journey through Lent. Okay, hit it, Dave. Walk together, children. Oh, walk together, children. Oh, don't you get weary. Walk together, children. Don't you get tired. Walk together, children. Don't you get weary. We're walking together on our journey through Lent. Okay, now let's sing together. Everybody sing. Sing together, children. Don't you get weary. Sing together, children. Don't you get tired? Sing together, children. Don't you get weary? We're walking together on our journey through Lent. Great, let's sway. Ooh, sway with me. Let's sway together, children. Don't you get weary? We sway together, children. Don't you get tired? Sway together, children. Don't you get weary? We're walking together on our journey through Lent. Last one. Make music. Grab your instruments. I forgot to tell you to get your instruments out. Do you have them? We're going to make music together. Ready? Make music together. Don't you get weary. Make music together. Don't you get tired. Music together. Don't you get weary. We're walking together on our journey through Lent. Great. I'm supposed to always tell you to get out your hymnal 
and get out your instruments. And I forgot that today. We're going to use the hymnal a lot in the second half. So if you don't have one, or you don't, if you don't have one, let us know. If you have one, it would be a good time to get it during the switcheroo. Okay, so we're starting to talk about Lent. Lent, uh, and Lent, uh, Lent goes on for 40 days. That seems like a long time, but it's going to go pretty fast. And it's a time to think and reflect. Reflect means to think about something. Reflect on how we can be more like Jesus. How can we be Jesus-like? Some people choose over Lent to give things up so they can be better and walk more like Jesus. Maybe they'll give up saying bad words or give up um, a bad habit. There's some habit they want to get rid of. They don't want to have it anymore. They're going to work really hard during these 40 days to try to change that. Um, some people might want to give up eating too much candy. No, I don't think you can eat too much candy, but it would be a, tr you could try if you think you eat too much candy. And that's how some people will maybe celebrate Lent or recognize rent. Lent. Other people will want to add something to their life. Maybe they want to be more like Jesus by praying more or by helping others more. Or maybe they want to make sure that they help people. That might be something they want to do. So during Lent, it's just a time to remember that God is always with us and Jesus is always with us. And whatever we're doing, whether we're starting something new or giving something up, trying to get rid of something we don't want to keep anymore, they're always with us. They're, we're in God's hands all the time. Hey, Dave, we know that song. There's a whole world in God's hands. Let's do that one. It's perfect. There's a song for everything. Sing with us. There's a whole world. There's a whole I think. That's a good ending, Dave. Thank you. We are always in God's hands, no matter what we're doing or where we are. Okay, you know in Lent, have you noticed, or you're going to notice if you haven't, I think, listen for some of the songs that we sing in Lent. They're, they tend to be more in a minor key. Listen to what Dave's playing. That's minor, like our hello song. Hello. Hello, hello. That was in a minor key. In Christmas, we tend to be in a major key. Play a major key, Dave. Happy, yeah. Minor's more reflective, making us think a little bit more. So we are going to end right before switcheroo. 40 days in Lent, and it's in, we're switching up the switcheroo song. It's in a minor key. It's about 40 days. Okay. There are 40 days. There are 40 days in Lent. Sing it with me. There are 40 days. How many? 40 days to reflect. Forty days 
40 days in Lent Time for us To reflect on the gift that God sent In Jesus Christ Do you hear that minor key? Let's play that minor key again, Judy. Right? It's a thoughtful time, a reflective time. Hey, and thanks for joining us for the rest of the children's message. You made it past the switcheroo, I noticed. Um, to reflect on the gift that God sent in Jesus Christ. The life of Jesus is in the good news. You know what the word for good news is? Gospel. It's in four of the gospels, like today's gospel. In the gospel of Mark. Chapter 1, verses 9 through 15, it tells about two big things, two, that happened in the life of Jesus in two teeny tiny paragraphs. It's about one of the shortest gospel messages you're going to hear, and it covers a lot of ground in two uh, paragraphs. Oh, by the way, did I mention this is from the Holy Bible? Yeah, if you need one, let us know. We can get you one. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son, the beloved, with you I am well pleased. And the spirit immediately drove him, Jesus, out into the wilderness. Jesus was in the wilderness 40 days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts, and the angels waited on him. That's the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, O Christ, rather. Um, so, here's what happened. I thought, well, there's probably some interesting artwork, uh, and we've seen some artwork before, and sure enough, there's, there's Jesus in the wilderness. I'm gonna start with this one. I wanna share these with you. They're all public domain, it's all cool. Um, this one by a Russian artist named Ivan Kramskoy. Ivan Kramskoy, it's from 1872. It's a really big painting, probably six feet wide, four or five feet high. And it's just Jesus by himself in the wilderness. Next up, in our gospel lesson, it said that Jesus went to the wilderness for 40 days. He was tempted by Satan. Now, there's probably a lot of ways that you could think of how that went down, or what does that mean to be tempted by Satan? Was it a, a being, a creature, a thing? Well, in the 1500s, Simon Benning wrote a prayer book for a cardinal of the Catholic Church in Germany, and he drew pictures with it, painted with tempera paint. Have you ever used tempera paint? Some shows up in school a lot. Uh, and he also used gold, actual gold, which doesn't show up in school so often. Um, but here, check out this entry that he made into a prayer book, all right? And I wanna point out, there's Jesus, right? And there's Satan or the devil. Look at his feet. Yeah, okay, that's kind of crazy. Some crow's feet. He also has kind of pointed ears. And you notice the three temptations that are listed in the other Gospels are there. Stones to bread, uh, the top of a tower, and then a the top of a mountain. You can read about that in the other Gospels. Mark doesn't name them, but uh, he does say that Jesus was tempted. Then what else did Mark say? It says that he was with the wild beasts. He was with the wild animals. Here's one, a uh, painting, pretty big one, by an Italian artist, Alessandro Bonvicino. An Alessandro Bonvicino. You know what Bonvicino means in Italian? Good neighbor. He also called himself Moretto de Brescia. This was also painted right about, I don't know, kind of mid-1500s, right around the time that Martin Luther was still with us. Martin Luther died in 1546, so this could have been right around the time. And you'll see that he was with some wild animals. Can you see some of those animals? Let's look at a couple of them. Some of them are real, some of them are mythical. Do you see the snake there? There's a snake there. 
There's a raven up there. There's a dove. There's a goldfinch. There's kind of a bear over there. So Jesus was with the wild beasts and angels came to help him. So Judy, you know what we could do? We could do the shortest music video that we've done yet. We've done a few music videos, but this could be our shortest one yet. And we'll borrow the song, uh, Jesus is a Rock in a Weary Land. It's from ELW333. Uh, and you know how I got that, by the way, speaking of which, a rock in a weary land. We kind of live in a weary land right now, right? With COVID and everything that's happening, it gets weary. It makes you more tired than tired, right? Sometimes. But Jesus can be that rock. Listen to this. The prayer book where they had that picture of, of Satan tempting Jesus also had a prayer written in. There's Jesus, by the way, in the wilderness with a deer longing for the water. That's from a psalm, by the way. But uh, my friend Ulf in Germany translated the German that you read here. And let's say it as a prayer together. How about that, Judy? We'll say it together. Of the fasting and temptation of the unyielding Jesus, unyielding Jesus like a rock, I thank you, Lord Jesus and Holy Father, that you, by fasting day and night and giving us the example while staying alone in the desert, and living only with the animals, without your friends and your family and other people to console you, yet you, through your way, brought consolation and peace to us. Thank you for that gift, Lord Jesus. Amen. So that was in a cardinal's book. Again, around, right around the time of Luther. And uh, the book was only about this big, by the way. I had to blow that up so you can kind of see it. But uh, Judy, I have to thank... Uh, two people for that picture. One, thanks, Ulf. Do you know what Ulf means in Norwegian? Wolf, speaking of wild beasts, right? Uh, Ulf is from Germany, but um, his name is Norwegian, means Ulf. And then also thanks, I gotta thank them for this, Getty, E-D-U. Check it out, they have a lot of good art there. Public domain, thank you, all right? So thanks, Ulf. All right, we're gonna do the uh, shortest um, music video, right? Here we go. And you'll get the chorus. It's 333. Jesus is a rock in a weary land. A weary land. A weary land. My Jesus is a rock in a weary land. A shelter in the time of storm. Sing it with me now, would you? Jesus is a rock in a weary land. A weary land. Weary land, my Jesus is a rock in a weary land, a shelter from the time of storm. Now here's our music video, right? The Spirit sent Jesus out to the desert in the wilderness for 40 days. He was tempted by Satan and with the wild beasts. But the angels helped him on his way, and they'll help you too. Jesus is a rock in a weary land, weary land, weary land. Our Jesus is a rock in a weary land, a shelter in the time of storm. One more time. Shelter in the time of storm. That might be a familiar song to some of y'all, some of y'all, y'all. And there's some new songs that are appearing, right, Judy? In our All Creation Sings. So here's what I want to ask you at home, and thanks for joining us, right? If you need an ELW, that's what we call the ELW, e Evangelical Lutheran Worship Book. There's a new one out called All Creation Sings. It's in sort of a purpley Lenten color, Judy. Look at that. Um, and if we have this one, I would like for you to turn to page 926, right? For a Hasidic uh, Hebrew folk melody, kind of reimagined in its words. Um, and I tell you what, Judy, let's learn the chorus this week and we can do it a couple times during Lent, right? A couple, two, three, four times during Lent. So if you have this one, 926 in all creation sings, but otherwise listen and I bet you can pick it up. Here's the words to the refrain. 
Shout aloud and sing for joy, O daughter Zion. All right, let's try that one. Shout aloud and sing for joy, O daughter Zion. Try with me once, all right? Shout aloud and sing for joy, O daughter Zion. Judy, I just thought of something. If you can't get all the words, you can get the first one and go, shout, right? Like we did, oh Lord, shout for joy. Here's the second line. Great in your midst is the Lord, the Holy One. And it sounds like this. Great in your midst is the Lord, the Holy One. One more time on that one, Judy. Great in your midst is the Lord, the Holy One. Let's put it all together. Shout aloud and sing for joy, O daughter Zion. Great in your midst is the Lord, the Holy One. Sing, Hosanna, shout aloud and sing for joy, O daughter Zion. Great is your midst is the Lord, the Holy One. I missed one word. It's great in your midst, like in your midst. Anyway, we'll look at that again, right, Judy? Throughout Lent, let's do it. All creation sings, if you need one, let us know. Judy, I think it is nearly, no, it is exactly time to go. Um, I loved Judy's message in the first part of our children's message today about how Jesus is always, always with us, right? And you know that, and now we learn Jesus is a rock in a weary land too. So I like that, that new song, Judy, Walk, uh, Walk Together Children was a great one. And you know who else can walk with you? You could be one, you could be 100. Jesus can always walk with you. So let's go to, do we have that one, Judy? ELW 325? Yeah, ELW 325. That's this one. Okay. It's called, uh, I Want Jesus to Walk With Me. I want Jesus to walk with me I want Jesus to walk with me we're going to substitute the words Lenten journey all along our Lenten journey Lord I want Jesus to walk Thanks for walking with us today through the children's message on our 40-day Lenten journey. Hope you come back again. Thanks for being here today on behalf of Judy and I. Uh, and the last line uh, that we usually say in our church services there at Our Saviors is, Go in peace now and serve the Lord. And everybody says, thanks be to God. Don't forget to wear your mask. And wash your hands. 20 seconds.